In today's video I show you the lateral ankle ligaments on MRI. This video is part 2 of the ankle ligament series and make sure to subscribe right now and hit the notification button so you won't miss any episode in the future. In case you haven't seen part 1 where I cover the medial collateral ligaments of the ankle, you can click here and you can watch that video right now or afterwards. So the situation on the lateral side is much easier and simpler than on the medial side and you can see this already on this diagram. We have here the anterior talofibular ligament which is running from the talus to the tip of the fibula or uh, the other way around whatever you prefer and then we have a ligament here which is running slightly oblique oblique orientation here to the posterior part of the calcaneus and that is the calcaneofibular ligament and then we have the very strong posterior talofibular ligament on the back here which I will show you uh, in more detail later on. Now it's just to mention that most often you have injuries of the anterior talofibular ligament and sometimes if it's a really severe injury you can also have injuries of the calcaneofibular ligament and it's very rare that you have injuries of the calcaneofibular ligament alone with an ATFL intact. So keep that in mind. If you see an injury here, make really sure and give the ATFL a close look because normally you have an injury here as well. Because they're typically rupturing or tearing in this way. And the posterior talofibular ligament is a very strong ligament and it's hardly ever injured um, unless there is like a complete ankle dislocation or something like that. So if just a normal ankle distortion then you would not normally expect the PTFL to be injured. Now if we look from a, a coronal perspective then we have here the anterior talofibular ligament here in this more or less horizontal orientation and the calcaneofibular ligament is running a little bit banana shaped and one of the reasons is that we have the perineal tendons here that are running above the calcaneofibular ligament. So if you see the perineal tendons on the coronals here between the bone and the perineal tendons there is the calcaneofibular ligament. That's an easy way to identify this ligament on MRI on the coronal sequences. Then in the back not clearly visible here is the PTFL. So just glimpsing here through the clear space there from the posterior view and you can see only a glimpse of the ATFL from this orientation. Doesn't matter. This one is just to show you the course of the posterior talofibular ligament here which is running from the back of the tip of the fibula and then here onto the back of the uh, talus here. Now let's go through some cases and have a look how you can identify these ligaments. Now first start off with the ATFL because it's the most important one and also the easiest one to identify. You just go to the level of the fibula here. You can see that's the ankle joint here and we are here at this level. Then you scroll down. Make sure not to interpret the anterior syndesmosis as part of the ATFL. You go down and then we have the Taylor dome here and the fibula and then what you want to see is a band like structure that is going from the tip here of the fibula over to the lateral aspect of the talus. So that is the ATFL here in this orientation. It's quite normal in signal intensity and also in thickness. So that's like a normal one here and also make sure you have a look here on your sagittals because you can really see this ligament here as well. So this is the tip of the fibula and here, let me make this big, here we have the ATFL running over onto the lateral aspect here of the tailors. And if you go very laterally we have here the origin of the PTFL and also the origin of the calcaneofibular ligament here. And this is like a moustache and you can search for this pattern, this moustache pattern, to identify all these three ligaments here with this one here with the fibular tip here being the nose. The next ligament you want to assess is the calcaneofibular ligament and remember the diagram that I showed you, it's inserting on the lateral aspect of the calcaneus between the bone and the perineal tendons and you can see here this one here that's part of the calcaneofibular ligament and then going here onto the tip of the fibula or the other way around this one here. And you can immediately also see in this case that the perineus brevis tendon is uh, split here. So, but we will focus on the perineal tendons in another video in the future. 
The best way to see the calcaneofibular ligament is actually the coronals and you can go to the fibular tip here. Again, here we would have the ATFL, this very faint structure because we have partial volume averaging and stuff like that. You cannot clearly see it here on this one here, but then here's the tip. Here are our perineal tendons. So this one here is part of the calcaneofibular ligament here. Then this one here running all the way down to the lateral aspect of the calcaneus. Just to make this big again, this one here is your ligament, tack, 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 going here to the tip. There it is. Okay. And here we have the perineal tendons and this is the calcaneofibular ligament and this is the bone. Let me show you the PTFL in another patient here, patient with a fibular fracture. But again, you can see here the tip. We are on the posterior aspect here of the fibula and you can see these bands these ligaments here running from the tip of the fibula over to the posterior aspect of the talus. And sometimes you have fat in between these fibers, sometimes there is fluid, and that's still considered to be a normal finding. Let's go quickly through all these three ligaments again here in this patient. So we are here at the level of the ankle joint, then we have here parts of the anterior syndesmosis, Going down, we are looking for the band like structure here from the tip of the fibula to the lateral aspect of the talus. And you can see that here the ATFL is slightly altered in signal intensity. So that's probably an old injury in this case. Um, but that's your ATFL here. And you can see the mustache here. At least you can think of a mustache here. There's a little mouth even. And now let's go to the calcaneofibular ligament. And so what you want to look for is the tip here, the perineal tendons and running obliquely downwards. You can see the fibers of the calcaneofibular ligament here. One, two, three. Then here making a little banana shaped change in course here over the perineal tendons inserting into the tip here. So that's the calcaneofibular ligament. And then whilst you're at this here, then you can see the different fibers of the PTFL, the posterior talofibular ligament. And sometimes they are like waved a little bit, but that's still a normal finding. And you can see this ligament here quite clearly and nicely. Also on your sagittals, you can see how it is inserting here. And then we have these different dots here that are running over to the posterior aspect of the fibula and also even on your axials you can see them and it's not taut at this position that's why it has this wavy uh, structure here that's your ligament and because it's slightly hyper intense here in the middle that's just normal this is a partial volume effect and sometimes you have these fatty strands running between these fibers so don't get confused with that that's still considered to be normal and here in the last case, just to show you the mustache one more time, this is the fibula here. And then we have here the mustache of the PTFL and the ATFL here. This is the ATFL, this is the PTFL. And then we have obliquely running downwards. This is part of the calcaneofibular ligament here, inserting into the lateral aspect here with the perineal tendons running over it. So keep the mustache in mind to identify the location of these ligaments. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the like button nevertheless. And also make sure to check back next week with the next video about the ankle ligaments. I just want to take a moment here and also say thanks to the supporters of my channel, especially Joanna and Christine on my Patreon page, and also all the people that are actually buying my book on Amazon. And just uh, two of them here sending me pictures how they received the uh, book. So it's very exciting for me. And also, if you haven't heard about it, make sure to check the link down in the description and you will find the link to my book on Amazon. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next week.